In this kit we have an IC and two fuses. In this video we will show how to replace the IC and the fuses. This repair kit works for many different board numbers and a few different types of boards. Your board may look different from the board we show in the video, but if installing this kit, the process will be the same. The symptoms that this board can typically fix include if your TV will not turn on, if you have no picture, or a blown fuse at FS2 and or FS3. Just a reminder that the IC is underneath the heatsink. I am going to start on the back side of the board and actually add some solder to each of the solder points for this component. I am adding solder because it will help to loosen the existing solder when I apply heat with my desolder gun. As I am adding solder, there may be some solder bridges, but that is okay for now since I will be removing the solder shortly. Next, I will use my desolder gun to remove the solder at each of the pins on the component. Some of the pins may be more difficult than others and require more time or re-soldering and desoldering them to get them loose. A few of the pins are sticking in the board, so I'm going to use my hot air tool to try and loosen them. Although I'm using a hot air tool, you could also use an iron to try and loosen them. I'm going to apply heat to the back side where the pins come through and pull the component from the top side, which is actually the underside in the video, to try to get it loose. There we go, we have the first side of the component loose from the board. Next, I will do the same thing to this other side. Now that I have the component off of the board, I will use my drill to remove the component from the heat sink. Next, I will clean up the existing heat sink compound on the heat sink and remove it using a paper towel and isopropyl alcohol. Next, I will apply some heat sink compound to the heat sink where the component will be attached. Then, I will use the drill again and attach the component to the heat sink with the screws. Before attaching, be sure to match the pins on the board to be sure that you are installing the component in the correct direction. 
If the pins will not go through all of the holes, you may need to clean up some of the spots on the board with your solder wick and iron to get some of the leftover solder. I start by soldering the four corner pins on the component to hold it in place. Then I will solder the remaining pins. Before I begin soldering, I will apply some solder flux to the board. After I am done, I will use my brush and some isopropyl alcohol to clean up the area. Next, I will flip the board over to the top and replace both fuses by pushing them up and off the board and then sliding in a replacement fuse. We have successfully installed this repair kit. If you have any further questions regarding your repair, simply post a question in the comment section below. We strive to learn and share new TV repair tips every day. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and grow with us. Share our videos with your friends to help us spread the savings. And don't forget to hit that like button.